hello guys hello everyone i hope you guys are doing okay so today is another day to drop another video and i hope you guys have subscribed if you are new here kindly make sure you subscribe like and share your comments also guys uh today i'm going to uh show you uh, various ways you can pass your exams it's very important to know what you require to pass your exams yeah uh, in our day-to-day -day lives, we go through uh, various uh, study exams that after you've studied, then you have to do exams. And of course, you need to pass your exams so that you can proceed to the next stage. So I'm going to share basically tips that can help you uh, ace your exams, pass your exams, uh, be it high school, primary school, college, university, uh, even an interview. It's part of an exam, yeah? So I'm going to share various ways you can prepare to pass your exams. And number one, first of all, you have to arrange your study materials in that when you want to study, they're in one place. And around the study area, there are no distractions, there's no noise, there's, there's no like um, background noise, there's sufficient light. So basically you arrange your study materials in one place and then you make sure that your study area is well lit and the place is less noisy, okay? Secondly, guys, you have to study regularly. Like you have to go over your study materials regularly. You have to check your notes from time to time. Like you cannot study today and then expect to pass tomorrow. No, you guys have to study like daily. For example, I'm going to use myself as an example. When I'm going to do an exam, I read like two weeks prior to my exam. And then I also read one week prior to my exam. And then I will read two days prior to my exam. And on the same, same day, I will also read. I will wake up like very early in the morning, let's say 4 a.m. And read if, if my exam is at 8 a.m. So that means I have ample time to tackle each and every question that might be set in the, in the exam room. Also, I get to question myself, quiz myself, like ask myself potential questions that are likely to occur in the exam. Okay? The third way or the third third hack you need to pass your exam is uh, you need to seek regular clarification. For example, you have undergone classes and maybe you didn't grasp something. It's o it's always good to ask your teacher. It's always uh, good to ask uh, to ask your even your colleagues, ask your desk mates, ask your classmates, or ask your teacher. Even so, get a tutor, someone who can teach you later on after classes so that you get to pass your exam, okay? Thirdly, you need to keep fit, you need to be healthy because, for example, you have an um, unhealthy body, you have to exercise, guys. You have to exercise because when you exercise, then your brain becomes fresh and then there's proper blood circulation and then you become mentally and physically fit to get your exams going, okay? Also, another tip I want to share today on how you can ace your exams is practically uh, by reducing stress. Like, I know exams come with a lot of stress and pressure, but you have to believe it in yourself and just get rid of the stress and see it like something you can do, something you can ace. So, basically, what I'm saying is when it's about to be your exam days, just forget about any stress that comes around. Also, try in as much as possible uh, to eliminate stress around you because you can't really study well in a stressful environment, okay? Also, guys, the most important thing, make sure you clean your place of stay. Like where you stay, make sure you clean that place, declutter the place because when there's a lot, of, a lot of things going on around you, you won't have a fresh mind to study and then you won't comprehend. So at the end of the day, you might actually fail your exams, okay? Also, guys... Another tip that is very, very useful is get prior questions of the past exams that was set and then try to answer those questions. Like this is very useful. I use it all the time and it works so well. So what I do is I get past questions and then I try to answer them with what I have read in class. And then I get to ask those questions because most of the time these questions are always repeated. So it's a repetitive something. So all you need to do is get previous questions, answer them, and then you're good to go okay another tip i want to share on how you can pass your exams is basically by 
actually writing short notes you know your notes are very different from the online notes they are very different from the textbook notes so when you write your short uh, i noticed that when you write short notes then you get to internalize you get to know exactly what's your material like you get to internalize what you are working with so the best thing to do is actually to write your own notes like don't depend on internet notes don't depend on um, uh, your teacher's notes or textbook notes just write your short notes and then you will find out that you actually understand the topic very well and then at the end of the day guys these short notes will help you like one hour prior to your exam because you get to peruse and say oh this is what might be said this is what might come to an exam so actually let me focus on this um topic also guys another tip um that can help you is the exams is um oh guys you also need to understand the format of how the exams are uh, set you have to actually internalize the, the questions that are being set you have to understand the format and if the person is telling you summarize you have to summarize summarize highlight you have to highlight like basically you have to understand the format of the question before answering the question so that you don't end up answering what what has not been asked for example you have been asked give examples and then you end up not giving examples Th that's an automatic fail so you have to give examples okay and lastly guys uh if you want to ace your exams stay positive like believe in yourself stay positive no matter how hard the exam is attempt do something don't leave any stone unturned actually in an exam room make sure you answer each and every question that has been asked it doesn't matter whether you know it or you don't know you have been told do five questions make sure you do all the five questions attempt these five questions and stay positive thank you so much for watching my videos i hope you enjoyed this video if you find it useful kindly share subscribe and comment below thank you so much for watching see you next time bye